Strong twists are a category of poses in which we use the strength of the muscles in the torso to go deeper into the twists without using any leverage. Namaste everyone, welcome to another episode of On The Mat. And today we're putting Priyan on the mat just as you might have seen last week when Yuko put Priyan on the mat. I was so excited when I finally heard this that I spent a long time learning how to count very slowly. So, <laughs> my name is Jeremy. I have been teaching at Nitya Priyan School of Yoga for the past two years. And in fact, I graduated from the teacher training here and I was part of the first batch. And one of the things I really like about uh, teaching here is the beautiful community that we have here that is always so supportive and so warm and so friendly. It is the community that makes this studio so special to me and I'm, I feel always very privileged to be teaching here. So this is going to be a 45 minute practice. It's going to be a flow class that incorporates some more intermediate poses. So feel free to take a variation that uh, makes sense for you. And feel free to also incorporate a short meditation at the start and even a shavasana at the end to take it up to a 60 minute practice. So let's get started. And we begin today's practice from a tabletop position on your hands and knees with the hands under the shoulders and the knees under the hips. Good. And beginning with a few rounds of cat and cow just to warm the spine up. On the inhale, let's drop the belly, lifting the gaze, arching the spine. And on the exhale, rounding the spine. The head comes between the arms, tailbone between the legs. Inhale to drop the belly and look up, broaden across the collarbones. And exhale to round as you separate the shoulder blades behind you. One more time, inhale, drop the belly and look up, feel the sitting bones spreading out behind you and exhale to round as you suck the belly all the way in. Good. And for the last one, we will hold, inhale, drop the belly and look up, stay here to breathe for four, three, two, and one, exhale to suck the belly all the way in, rounding the spine, holding it here to breathe for four, three, two, and one. Let's come back to a neutral spine. And from this neutral spine, on the next inhale, let's lift the right hand up towards the ceiling as you gaze up towards the right thumb. And then on the exhale, let's thread it underneath the body without placing the shoulder on the mat, reaching towards the left. Good. Then on the inhale, we lift the right hand up all the way again, gazing up towards the thumb. And on the exhale, we thread underneath the body, just reaching and twisting. Good. Inhale, lift the right hand all the way up, gazing up. And exhale to twist it in as you reach the right hand a little further than the last time. Good. Let's lift the right hand all the way back up again, gazing up towards the thumb, holding it here. Can we extend the left leg back, coming into a baby revolved half moon? Let's float the left foot at the height of the hip, lifting the foot a little higher. Good. Holding it there. The foot is nice and flexed. Four, beautiful, as you gaze up towards the thumb. Three, wonderful. Two, and release. One, the hand down and the, and the knee on the mat as well. Switching sides on the inhale. Left hand lifting up towards the ceiling as you gaze up towards the thumb. And then on the exhale, we thread underneath the body, reaching towards the right side. Good, shoulder stays off the mat. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale as you work with the breath, thread the arm underneath, reaching. Once more, inhale, lifting it up, gazing up, working with the breath. And exhale, thread underneath the body, reaching even further than before as we take the twist. Last one, good. Let's inhale, lift it all the way up as we hold it there, gazing up. This time the other leg, right leg extending back. Good, find the balance and then hover the foot at the height of the hip. Stay here and breathe. Revolved baby half moon. 
Five. Four, the foot beautifully flexed. Three, heel a little higher. Two, and one. Let's release, hands down, knees down. Wonderful. And once we're here now with the toes tucked under, let's lift the knees off, hips high. Pushing back for downward facing dog. Your first down dog of the day. So go ahead and paddle it out. Bending one knee then the other. Swaying the hips from side to side. Dropping one shoulder then the other. Anything that you need to feel comfortable in down dog, go ahead and do so. And finally, when you're ready, coming to stillness in downward facing dog with the hips up high, the heels reaching for the mat, the chest is pressing towards the thighs. Good. Left foot forward between the hands. Let's find low lunge. As you drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Sit the hips nice and low here. We're stretching into the right hip flexor. Stay and breathe for five. Good. Biceps close to the ears. Four. Three. Two. And let's draw the hands to heart center. And on one, let's twist over to the left as you hook the right elbow outside the left knee. Suck the belly in and we're lifting the center of the heart up to touch the thumbs. Good. Once you find your balance here, as slowly as you need to, gently tuck the back toes. And let's lift the back knee off. Good, staying here in this twist, nice and deep. An option now is to gaze over the left shoulder for a challenge or onto the mat for balance. Last five, four, three, nice and steady. Two, let's stay with the twist as you rise up. And one, left hand extended back, right hand extended forwards, wonderful. Stay here as you feel as if you're being pulled apart. One hand being pulled forward, one hand being pulled back in this revolved high lunge. For five, good. And continuing to press into the right toes here. Four, so that the heel is pointing up. Three, the right knee completely straight. Twist a little deeper. Two, let's take the left hand onto the back leg. And one, right hand goes up and over, reaching for the back wall. Stay for five, good. Can we reach a little bit deeper here? Four, working with the breath to go a little deeper. Three, two, and on the next inhale, let's come back to center, both arms up, high lunge, and one. Exhale, take the hands down onto the mat. Let's step back to plank. And for the first vinyasa for today, option for knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga dandasana, lower down, good. And then the inhale for cobra or upward facing dog, working with whatever feels good for you first. And then on the exhale, let's push back for downward facing dog. Beautiful. Good. And now the other side. Right foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Finding a beautiful long stance here to really open up the left hip flexors, sinking the hips forward and down for five. Good, nice proud chest, four, three, strong all the way through the fingertips, two, bring the hands to heart center, and one. Let's twist over to the right as you hook the left elbow outside the right knee, suck the belly in, we're lifting the center of the heart up to touch the thumbs. Good, and as slowly as you need to, tuck the back toes and let's gently lift the back knee off, finding the balance as you do so. Stay and breathe, wonderful, five, good. Four, we're twisting with the entire spine here. Three, two, let's stay with the twist as we rise up and one, the right hand extended back Left hand extended forwards. Imagine again the body being pulled in two directions, creating that twist and the engagement of the muscles in the torso. Stay for five. Good. You can even try to turn the gaze a little more towards the right thumb. Three. Two. With the right hand on the back leg now. And one. Left hand goes up and over, reaching for the back wall. 
breath by breath, crawling the hand a little bit deeper. Five, good. Continue to keep the front knee bent so that it's stacked over the ankle. Three, two, and on the next inhale, back to center, both arms up. One, then on the exhale, the hands down onto the mat. Let's step back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga or knees, chest, chin, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Then on the exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Wonderful practice. Let's send the shoulders over the wrists for plank pose. Good. And from plank pose now, we're going to take side plank with the right hand down onto the mat, lifting the left hand up towards the ceiling, rolling onto the outside edge of the right foot. We're lifting the hips nice and high here, beautifully balanced, holding for five, Good. Engaging the right side of the body. Four, firming the side of the body. Three, one long line of energy from the right hand to the left hand. Two, and next exhale. One, let's place the left hand down onto the mat. And as you do this, crunch the left knee into the right elbow. Good, take that twist, working the active twisting muscles here. Toes pointed, knee a little higher for five, good. Four, a little bit of shaking is okay. Three, don't worry, stay with me. Two, then let's extend the foot out onto the right side of the mat and lift the right hand up. One, for a beautiful fallen triangle. Wonderful, five, good. The muscles along, along the back of the body being worked as well. Four. Three, good, excellent. Two, then one right hand down and let's push back for three legged dog lifting that left leg nice and high stay and breathe as we work into the posterior chain here for five good four also stretching out into the right hamstrings the heel coming closer to the mat for three two good set the left foot down downward facing dog and one, let's take another vinyasa just as an option. Shoulders forward, lower down. Good, inhale for the back bend of choice. Exhale to push back, downward facing dog. Good, send the shoulders over the wrists, plank pose. That beautiful long straight line, crown of the head down. Good, and let's take the other side with the left hand down, right hand lifting up towards the ceiling for side plank. Gazing up, hips a little higher for five, beautiful. Four, good. Three, the shoulders nice and firm here. Two, and as the right hand comes down onto the mat, one, let's crunch the right knee in towards the left elbow. Take that twist here, holding for five, good. The knee a little higher, four, excellent. Three, Two, and let's extend the foot outwards towards the left. And one, fallen triangle. Lift the hips nice and high. Five, good. Your fallen triangle may look like Priyans here. Four, which is incredibly deep, like a wild thing. Three, or it may look more like a side plank variation. Two, whichever, it doesn't matter. One, let's place the left hand down and push back for three-legged dog to stretch into the left hamstrings. Lifting for five, don't forget to work the right glutes also to lift a bit higher. Four, beautifully flex the hips nice and square. Three, two, and right foot down. One, let's take one vinyasa, working with our own breaths to come into downward facing dog. Good. From downward facing dog now, we're going to start to put the practice together. One breath, one movement with less holding or no holding even. So we work with the body as the body remembers the poses. Left foot forward between the hands, low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Let's draw the hands to heart center, twist over to the left, hook the right elbow outside the left knee as slowly as you need to. Tuck the back toes and lift the back knee off. Good, find your balance. Stay with the twist as we rise up. Right hand is forward, left hand is back. Revolved high lunge. Left hand on the back leg, right hand up and over. 
reversed, high lunge, good. Let's sweep the right hand down onto the mat. Take a transition to side plank. Left hand lifting up, stack the feet, beautiful. Good, just a moment and then the left hand down onto the mat as you crunch the left knee into the right elbow, immediately extend for fallen triangle. Lifting nice and high and let's flip back, right hand down, push back, three-legged dog. Let's take the option for a three-legged vinyasa as you send the shoulders forward, lower down. Good, and then pushing back to downward facing dog as you lower the feet down. And now for the other side, right foot forward between the hands, low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting up, hands to heart center. Good, twist over to the right, suck the belly in, lift the heart up. Tuck the back toes, let's lift the back knee off, good. Stay with the twist as you rise up, revolved high lunge, right hand forward, right hand is back, left hand is forward. Reversed high lunge, right hand on the back leg, left arm is up and over. Good, beautiful movement, sweep the left hand down, side plank transition with the right hand lifting up, stack the feet, finding the balance, hips nice and high. Then as the right hand comes down, can we crunch the right knee into the left elbow, immediately extend out for fallen triangle, lifting the hips beautifully high. Just a moment, and let's push back with the left hand down, right leg up, three-legged dog. Wonderful. One vinyasa, three-legged vinyasa is an option to come to downward facing dog. And let's stay in down dog for just a moment, catching our breath. Continuing to stretch into the hamstrings. Engaging the belly as we breathe. Beautiful. Good. And now the left foot forward between the hands for high lunge. Keep the back knee off the mat as you lift the arms nice and high. Good. Biceps close to the ears here as you hold for five. Four, continuing to straighten the back knee, pull up the back kneecap. Three, two, good. Hands on the hips. And one, straighten the front knee as you shorten the stance, getting ready for pyramid pose. On the inhale, lengthening up the spine. On the exhale, hinge at the hips, folding forward, hands down onto the mat. If you're at home, you can have hands on blocks. Or if the front knee is feeling, if the hamstrings are feeling a bit tight, you can keep the knee just a little bit bent with the focus on belly close to the thigh. And then our work there would be to slowly straighten the knee. Wherever you are in this pose, we tilt the pelvis further forward, stretching the left hamstrings. Last four. Three. Two. Good. And with the right hand exactly where it is. One. Let's take a revolved triangle, taking your preferred variation. If you want to cross the right hand outside the left knee, left foot is okay. Good, left hand up onto the hip, and then extend the left hand up towards the ceiling, gazing up, five, beautiful, incredible. Four, very nice opening of the hamstrings here. Three, to enable this deep twist. Two, good, let's bring the left hand down onto the mat. One, good, hands framing the front foot, bend the front knee slightly. As you crawl the hands forward, float the back foot off. And then, revolved half moon. The right hand is there, left hand slowly lift and pivot up. Good, gazing up towards the thumb. So, those of you at home, option for the left knee to be slightly bent as well. Last five, nice and strong. Four, three, good. Two, left hand down, one. Let's take a big step all the way back with the right leg, then the left foot steps back and option for a vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog now, right foot forward between the hands for high lunge. Good. Foot between the hands, lifting the arms nice and high, keeping the back knee nice and straight. Stay for five. Good. Remember that you can always adjust the stance for, in order to find the difficulty that you're looking for here. Three, something a bit more manageable with a narrower stance. Two, or longer as you wish. Hands on the hips, and one. Straighten the front knee. Good, on the inhale, we 
adjust the stance and then on the exhale, let's fold forward. Pyramid pose with the hands down onto the mat. Good. Remember to keep the squaring of the hip here. So the left hip rolled forward, right hip rolled a little back. And as we continue to bow forward, finding length in the spine, the spine not too rounded. If the, if the spine is very rounded, you can always keep the knee bent as well. And pyramid pose is an option to, is an opportunity to catch your breath for another four, three, two, good, and one. Revolve triangle as you cross the left hand outside the right foot, and then the right hand coming up onto the hip. Find some length along the right side body first, and then gaze up as you extend the right hand up. Stay for five, four, three, good, Two, right hand comes down first, and one. Let's frame the front foot, and then as you gently crawl the hands forward, correct, let's lift now the back leg up, and then revolved half moon, same thing, left hand is down, and the right hand is lifting up. Don't forget, this was the peak pose in basic class last week. Five, left heel nice and flexed, lifting a little higher, four, Three, that strong activation in the left hamstring. Two, let's send the right hand down onto the mat. One, take a big step back with both feet. And a vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. Wonderful. From downward facing dog now, look between the hands. Bending the knees, lightly hop, step or jump forward. Good. Halfway lift and exhale, forward fold. Next inhale, rising up all the way, the palms to touch above the head, lifting the arms up. And then on the exhale, let's draw the hands to heart center. Stay here for just a moment, catching your breath, getting ready for the next sequence of the practice. Feeling the warming in the body, the engagement of the breath. Good. Last three. Two. And one. Next inhale, chair pose, knees bent, biceps close to the ears for Utkatasana. Good. Sit a little bit lower here. Stay and hold for five for working the thighs. Four, good, the glutes as well. Three, two, and let's draw the hands to heart center. One, twist over to the left as you hook the right elbow outside the left knee, sucking the belly in, the center of the heart coming up to touch the thumbs for five. Four, good, we're gonna be here for a while. Three, stay with me. Two, let's take the option to open up the hands. One, right hand coming down onto the mat. Left hand lifting up towards the ceiling, gazing up for five. Four, three, two, and let's bring the hands to heart center again. One, good, still in the twist actually, staying in the twist. <laughs> let's now take the option you can stay here or start to work on side crow by bringing the hands down onto the mat. As you take the hands down, hands down, let's start to lean forward deep into the twist with the right elbow supporting the thighs. Good, leaning forward, an option for the feet down onto the mat or staying in side crow. Last four, good, slightly faster count, three, two, and let's release one, the feet down onto the mat. Excellent practice. Come back to the front, nice. And from wherever you are, let's say in chair pose, let's straighten the knees, hands to heart center, rising up. Good. Take a moment here to breathe. And between sides, of course, let's do a vinyasa. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, gazing up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale the hands down as you hop, step or jump back. Let's take one vinyasa to meet in downward facing dog. And from downward facing dog, just holding for a few breaths. Five. 
4 3 2 and 1 look between the hands bending the knees lightly hop step or jump forward halfway lift and exhale forward fold next inhale rising up all the way palms to touch above the head and then exhale hands to heart center as you come to standing Next inhale, let's take a chair pose once again for the other side, Utkatasana, knees bent, biceps close to the ears here, sit a little lower for five, good, four, three, two, hands to heart center, let's twist over to the right, and one, good, beautiful prayer twist, center of the heart coming up, five, good, four, three, two, feeling the Firming of the thighs, option to open up the hands, one with the left hand down onto the mat, right hand is lifting up towards the ceiling, taking that deep twist, last four, good, three, two, still in the twist, let's bring the hands back to heart center, one, and the option to stay here or start to explore side crow on this side, with the hands down onto the mat, Engaging so that their four corners of the palms are grounding down. Start to lean forward with the elbows bent, just like Chaturanga. Feet floating off. Good. Four. Excellent. Three. Two. Wherever you are, gradually release. One. With the feet down onto the mat, turn to face the front. Let's come back to chair pose first. And from chair, chair pose, let's straighten the knees, rising up, hands to heart center. Good. One more vinyasa before a quick rest. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, gazing up, and then exhale, let's fold forward, hands down onto the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, the hands down, hop, step, or jump back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. And from down dog, let's set the knees on the mat for child's pose. Take a moment just to rest. And if you're at home, feel free to wipe your sweat here. Have a sip of water. We're staying here to catch our breath. Doing anything that we need that helps us to recover a little bit. And... For the next part of the practice after this, we're going to start to put together everything that we have learned today and take some even more advanced variations. Don't forget, side crow was the peak pose for essential class last week. Good. And now the option later to explore the intermediate pose from last week. And when you're ready, let's place the hands down at the front of the mat, pushing back, downward facing dog. Remembering to move as the body remembers rather than overtaking thinking matters. Left foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Good. And let's bring the hands to heart center, twisting over to the left. Hook the right elbow outside the left knee. Now tucking the back toes and lifting the back knee off. Wonderful, as you gaze over the left shoulder as an option. Stay with the twist, rising up, left hand is back, right hand is forward, revolved high lunge, and then the left hand on the back leg with the right arm up and over towards the back. One beautiful sweeping action, right hand down, side plank with the left hand lifted up, stacking the feet, hips up high. Let's place the left hand on the mat now as we crunch the left knee into the right elbow, straighten the left leg coming into a fallen triangle with the option to hover the foot. Good. And the right hand down now as we push straight back to three-legged dog. Left foot now forward between the hands for high lunge. Keep the back knee off the mat, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. And from high lunge, hands on the hips, pyramid pose as you straighten the front knee, shortening the stance, inhale to lengthen, exhale to fold forward, hands down onto the mat. Good. Pyramid pose, a stretch, we stay here to breathe for three, two, wonderful, and one, revolve triangle, cross the hand outside the foot, left hand lifting up, gazing up, 
And on the exhale, let's place the left hand down onto the mat, framing the front foot, coming to revolved half moon, right leg lift, and left hand lifting up. This time, the option for a revolved half moon chapasana with the left hand catching onto the back leg. If you can catch on, start to kick the leg away from the body. Option to stay in just a revolved half moon is okay. Last three, good, beautiful. Two, and gradually release the foot. One, let's place the hands down first, and then right foot steps forward for chair pose, knees bent, biceps close to the ears, wonderful. Sit a little bit lower, because we're not going to hold, and we bring the hands to heart center, twisting over to the left, hooking the right elbow outside the left knee, suck the belly in, good. And then the option now, let's open up the hands with the right hand down, left hand lifting up, good. Now with the hands back to heart center, let's start to take side crow with the hands down onto the mat, or the option of EPK1, revolve flying scissors. Lean forward to take revolve flying scissors. Beautiful. Exactly what Priyan is doing with the right leg extended back, left leg extended to the side. Last three. Two. Gradually one. Let's release the feet down onto the mat the same way we came. Good. Getting ready. Coming up into a chair pose once again. Knees bent. Then as you straighten the knees, hands back to heart center. Good. Inhale, lift the arms up overhead, gazing up. Exhale, fold the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, the hands down, hop, step or jump back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. Right foot forward between the hands for low lunge. Drop the back knee. Untuck the toes, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. And hands to heart center now, twisting over to the right. Suck the belly in, center of the heart coming up to touch the thumbs. And tucking the back toes, let's lift the back knee off, coming into this beautiful twist. Good. Stay with the twist. Can we rise up? Right hand extended back, left hand extended forwards. And then the right hand on the back leg, left hand is up and over towards the back wall. Wonderful. Sweeping the left arm down, left hand touch down, side plank, right hand is up, stacking the feet, lifting the hips. Good. Then the right hand down as you crunch the right knee into the left elbow, and then fall in triangle as you straighten the right leg, hovering the foot as an option. Left hand down, pushing back for three-legged dog. Beautiful. And then from three-legged dog, right foot forward, high lunge. Back knee is off the mat, lifting the arms up towards the ceiling. Hands to the hips as you straighten the front knee. Pyramid pose, inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Hands down onto the mat. Stay here to breathe. Three. Two. And one, revolve triangle, left hand cross over, right hand lifting up, gazing up, good. And then with the right hand down onto the mat, let's frame the front foot, get ready for revolved half moon. Good, left leg lifting up, right hand lifting as well. Stay with the option now for revolved half moon chapasana, bending the back knee, catching onto the back foot, kicking away, good, for three, nice and strong. Two, and one, gradually release, good, left foot, steps forward, chair pose, knees bent, biceps close to the ears, sitting nice and low, and let's bring the hands to heart center. <laughs> and let's bring the hands to heart center, twisting over to the right as you hook the left elbow outside the right knee. Good. And the option to open up the hands, left hand down, right hand lifting up. And then bringing hands to heart center. Let's take side crow with the option for EPK1, leaning forward. Good. And then EPK1 would be to extend the left leg all the way back with the right leg still resting on the elbow. Hold for three. Good. 
two, stay with it, and one. Let's gradually release exactly the same way we came, nice and strong and stable. Coming back up into that chair pose. Then as you straighten the knees, rise up, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Good. Last vinyasa to finish off on the inhale, arms up, palms to touch, then on the exhale to fold. Next inhale, halfway lift, then exhale, hands down, hop, step or jump back, taking one vinyasa to come to downward facing dog. And from here, beautiful, setting the knees down, child's pose. Take just a moment to wipe sweat or drink water, catch your breath. Not exactly done with the practice yet. We've still got a few more closing poses here. Breathing for three, two, and one. Slowly sitting back up. Good. And let's now take a simple back bend, coming up onto your knees with the hips off the heels. Getting ready for camel pose. So you have the option of taking toes tucked for something a bit more manageable or the toes untucked for something a bit more challenging. Good. Hands supporting the lower back with the fingers, with the pinky toes close to each other. Start to roll the shoulders up and back, shining the front of the body. Hips further forward now as you shine the heart slightly further up. Good, and the option to stay here or left hand, right hand coming down onto the heels to find camel pose, Ustrasana. Good. And so with the hands on the heels, is a deeper back bend, but for me it is less strenuous because at least I get to support the weight of my body. We stay for five, good. Keep contracting the glutes here. Four, as the hips come a little further forward, you feel the stretch. Three, in the front of the hip flexors, the thighs. Two, and let's release the same way we came. One, slowly and with control. Hips back onto the heels, wonderful. The next pose is an inversion. Supported headstand if it's in your practice. Don't worry, there are variations for those for whom it is not in the practice. So let's interlace the fingers. Good, and start to plant the fists and the forearms down onto the mat in front of us. And then cradling either the back of your head or the crown of your head, your choice, depending on which is in your practice. Lifting the hips off the heels, the toes tucked under and straightening the knees. First option, stay here, is perfectly okay. Second option, you can start to tuck the knees in towards the chest, finding a tucked handstand with the weight being supported by the forearms. And the last option that you can see Priyan is, is raring to get into, is to straighten the legs out towards the ceiling to find a full expression of supported headstand. Toes pointed, core engaged, five, Four, three, two, and one. Let's gradually release the same way that we came, whichever way it is, with control, down onto the mat. Wonderful. And let's take child's pose. Here in child's pose now, just allowing the body to rest for a little bit, the blood leaving the head, coming from that deep inversion. And last three, two, and one. Sitting back up. Good, and let's release the feet in front of you. Feet together, the knees out wide. Holding onto your feet just like you would a book. Pulling the heels a little closer. Let's start to flap out the wings of the butterfly. And then on the next inhale, lengthen the spine as you lift the knees up. And on the exhale, fold forward, using the forearms to press down into the calves, the chest coming a little further forward. Good. Is it still playing? Huh? Still playing? Yes, it's still playing. Good. 
all the way down the forehead down nice and as we're doing this feeling the stretch on the inner thighs and just allowing time and gravity to slowly pull the knees a little further apart every once in a while checking in with the body to send the chest a little further forward and the spine is not too rounded. As we breathe and hold here. Last few breaths. And gradually release, rising back up. Wonderful. Hands under the knees. Let's pull the knees back together. And then going ahead to lie down onto the mat. So adjusting into the center of your mat, lying down, getting ready for happy baby with the arms between the knees, holding on to the outsides of the feet as you pull the knees down closer towards the mat. And feel free to start to rock left and right, left and right. And as we work with the swaying motion of the body, maybe on each side that you rock down to, you can pull the knees down just a little bit more. And perhaps the knees can touch down onto the mat as well. And your choice here, if you want to start to work a little bit more into the hamstrings, you can even take the option of straightening one knee at a time. Perhaps holding on to your heels to do this. Good. Sometimes the feet can touch down, although that's very deep. Wonderful. And maybe even the option of having both knees straight at the same time. Wonderful. Stay for three, two, and one. Gradually now let's release and let's make our way into our final resting pose, Shavasana. In Shavasana, with the heels in, the toes out, the palms facing up, the fingers gently curled. The eyes closed, finding deep belly breaths and consciously relaxing into every part of the body. <laughs> 